if you want to know what your favorite uh, double wahala housemates has been doing what your life has been then yeah, you like this video he said if he could dish something that he did like a big mistake he made was wearing that ring according to him he said the ring was a strategy i'm just like who wears ring as strategy Jenna with her and uh, tiana styling the uh, drama with her and bob Risky, them hacking her phone like she just wishes she could just close her eye and open her eye and the fame is gone Hi, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? What's been happening? I'm so excited because I've been waiting to just come and just like this is a very cool gist video. It's Big Brother uh, Double Wahala reunion show. I've been waiting. So, guys, to my channel, if you want to know anything about Big Brother, if you want to see what it feels like to live in Nigeria, to live in Lagos, you know where I go to, where you can anything. If you just want to just know hmm, how do Lagos people live their life, or what's fun about Lagos, or what's interesting about honey, this is where you should be. Big subscribe button and now let's just the first thing I want to talk about is how crispy all the housemates look like Bet Niger is a new sponsor. I can just tell that there is a lot of money being spent in this show. Ibuka has changed. You know when God just says, hmm, I want to just change your life, my child. You know, I, I want to just do something in your life. I'll just change your life, like you know, in a snap. I think that's what God did for Ibuka's life. I mean, Ibuka, if you are watching this video, I love you. You are a motivation, you are a mentor, so I'm not hating you or dissing you. I'm just being real, yeah. I remember when he when he just started doing that Ebony Life thing. I forgot what it's called. Oh my god, I forgot him. Where he he uh, Zainab and Lamide. If you remember, please comment below. Let me just let me go and check the comment and know what it's called. But like that talk show, yeah. And just compare him then to him now. Ibuka is very cute, sparkling, suit is on point, he looks so fresh. Oh my god, man. I think that this big brother has just been a you know like a well of gold, a well of wealth for him. I'm happy for him. Today's all was just intro who they are, where they have been, what has been happening in their life. If, if you want to know what what your favorite uh, double wahala housemates has been doing, what your life has been, then yeah, you like this video. First we had Nina. Nina looked so beautiful, clean, fine, pretty, oh my days. She said that if she could change something in the house when she was there, it's the fact that she always felt that she was the youngest person in the house. So. Yeah, people intimidated her a lot if like, if she knew then what she knows now she would have just said well even though i'm young i'm I, you know we're all here nobody should make you feel like you don't have a position in the house that's what she said she would change if she could go back in time she said that fame is interesting but it also has its own like issues like what she's gone through is just crazy all the whole drama drama with her and uh, tiana styling the drama with her and bob Risky, them hacking her phone like she's like sometimes she wants she just wishes she could just close her eye and open her eye and the fame is gone even though she likes her team nina people and the fact that i mean you know she now sells hairs and uh, she now makes uh, she now sells hair she now sells makeup she also acts movies so the fame obviously came with some good but the bad can be annoying on some days she catches herself screaming and saying i'm like bruh baby girl that's what you signed up for next we had beetle beetle i've been wondering where has beetle been what is he up so well i'm happy he came he said he's now he's still a presenter he was a presenter before he got into the house he said if he could dish something that he did like a big mistake he made was wearing that ring according to him you know because you know beetle always wore a ring on his leg you know that wedding thing that he wore a ring like all through he said the ring was a strategy i'm just like who wears ring as strategy like that's what jones teen told tony why like nah in fact i don't think that it's easier for single people to i'm yet to see a married person go to the house and you get me like i think maybe even top five i would like to see but i think it's easier for people that are single to get into the house right thing so why would he think it was it was a strategy like that's not even right he also said that if he could tell big brother something it would be um the fact that they were evicted in pairs i think that maybe princess is still beating him and getting angry and maybe still saying that it was because of him that she was evicted because you know that uh, double wall at the at the i think maybe the first six pairs yeah they left in pairs after the first six pairs they now started doing individual eviction so he was like yeah he wishes that that didn't happen so that everybody knows why you left so that you don't get to blame another person for your own faults but what do you think do you think if princess had been on her own she would have stayed in the house longer or do you think that she would have left even when she left tell me in the comments i would like to know next question we had was alex alex looked so beautiful alex is somebody that is one person that i'm i i bet big brother has 
help her change her she has up to 1 point i think 1.3 or 1.4 million instagram followers she said she has worked with a lot of brands she went to list the name but i'm not calling them because i'm not paying money eh? but she's working with a lot of people people that have changed her life it made her mature very early and that she doesn't she's not holding any bad blood against anybody she's here to she said that according to how everything that happened in the house was like so last year this is a new year she, she just wants to just go and you know talk to her housemates probably reconcile with who i, I and i think that there's a video that's been going around that alex and cc have because i've made up i don't know if you know please tell me in the comments but i think that that video was off this reunion so i think that we'll, there will be a time where we would see alex and cc making up which is something that i'm like yeah yes 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 i'm for, i'm all for women empowerment women moving forward people that is just a very toxic house you know and i feel that after one year it's okay for them to just reconcile because you know in life you don't know where you need anybody so don't go and carry bad blood for somebody that on this history so i think that i can't wait to see them reconcile in this reunion next we had angel angel looked his finest i have not i'm i'm not even decent i've not seen angel look this fresh ever he looked so good he looks like he's living his best life he said that he wants to ask one question to rico does rico like his girlfriend i'm just thinking wait because you know i interviewed angel in, in my, on my channel yeah please click on this link go and watch it if you haven't watched it but you know i asked him and he said that he was not dating anika anymore that he had moved back to his main girlfriend so i'm just thinking like angel what do you mean by ah, this ace is very noisy what do you mean by your girlfriend because i mean you said you're not dating anika so is Rico trying to hit Angel's girlfriend or did he mean Anika? Is he dating Anika? Like, do we know something that we don't know? Guys, please, if you know anything more than me, comment below because I'm looking like, what do you mean by your girlfriend? You're not with Anika. He also said he's happy about the fact that his acting career has now kicked off. He's been acting in lots of, you know, short movies, uh, TV series on DSTV and things. And his tech company, that company that he's been talking about in the house for a long while, you know, they're still in the research. I don't know. But it's sharp coming up he's been getting according to him he's been getting some funds even though they're coming in trickles but you know what they say it's better you get small small than to get nothing at all right next we had d1 d1 says that even though he was the first because you know d1 and Mando were the first set to leave the house even though he was the first to leave the house people know him a whole lot more he said that 2018 he, he did um his comedy show d1 evicted and then that was like one of the biggest comedy shows in Nigeria in 2018 and he had over 1,000 uh, people come and that they all paid money you know what I think I think that D1's cockiness is his that's his own way of you know uh, that's his own line of comedy you know I just feel that I feel that when sometimes you hear D1 talk you'll be like what is one saying but I just feel like we should soft pedal with D1 maybe that is how he thinks he's funny do you understand because I'm just thinking like why do you have to tell us that people paid or who did not pay or I can see that some comedians did not make money like bruh just say you did your comedy show already but I think that's a soft pedal I think that's how he cracks his own jokes I don't know next we had Leo Leo looked as stylish as ever Leo says he's happy about the people of our house obviously because I mean he's he's now pretty famous his business is now moving forward the shoe company that only makes like sporting shoes or sport wears or sport gears for full wears yeah oh, I mean sports footwear how about that and so they were delving into um fashion male fashion shoes and then they like called him and he inspired a shoe and they named it after him it's called leo he's so happy about that and then he now said something that in the house um his head was not the reason why he his head was not fully fully in the house was because his because of his mother and you know his mother passed on god bless her soul like some i think a few weeks after he left the house and so it was very painful extremely painful for him and I mean I must say that Leo tried because when I was watching that big brother year I didn't even I didn't even have a clue that his mom was sick I didn't have a clue you did your game well there was a time that Leo even just mistakenly like looked lost like looked like he was going through anything I think he did his, his game well I'm, I'm I'm very proud of you as an individual Leo um but yeah God bless your soul and take heart on your mother's death next question we had was Rico Rico is saying that if he could ask somebody in the house a question he wants to ask Anika if she really likes him I watched the show I just think Anika was not looking for any guy in the house I think it was just uh, maybe she had a boy outside the house that she was very focused on so why is everybody trying to ask Anika if she like Rico like 
that's not even a talk if you ask me but i can't wait to watch the reunion to see if anika really left Enrico rather next he said that he has been you know in the studio trying to dish out musical content mm -hmm. he's been acting a lot and finally what i've been waiting itching begging to hear is about to start up his own restaurant i'm like i'm sure he got that advice from me i'm sure we could watch one of my videos and, and you know and heard me and because i'm like why would you want to do restaurant like it's so easy to make i mean not easy but i don't think it's faster you know if you're a musician music has to do with melody you must sing a song that is sweet song that we blow a song that we uh acting you know he's been acting for the house i've not really seen him on any blockbuster movie cinema movie at all but if you're cooking you can work with a lot of like condiment brands i mean look at Meonti, look at uriel uriel ditched music for uh, a lifestyle food which more food and now fashion like Rico, what's up with you so i'm happy that he's now starting to do his own um he wants to open he hasn't opened it yet but he wants to open a restaurant i can't wait to see that i hope he's televised i hope some somehow in the social media aspect to he's probably bring it to youtube no but there's no big celebrity doing any cooking thing at all on youtube on their own so yeah please bring it on youtube i'll be very happy i'll, I'll be i will actually watch that show here yeah, because i mean a guy is teaching you how to cook fine guy rico bro i'll watch you don't worry next we had anto anto said she's happy that she went to the house because i mean her fame has grown people now know her more and she said she hasn't seen comments people have been asking why she did not bring the black american vibe which i also asked why wasn't she just giving us some kind of you know they're not drama but personality she said oh she, she could have done it she went to do it but she has political um ambition and aspiration in for, for for future and she doesn't think that anybody will elect um, somebody who was crazy in the house and I just said bruh you'll be surprised I think that Big Brother is a very excusable platform I think nobody really cares if you're crazy I think that if you're crazy you're going to stay there long I think that CC was everything interesting you know annoying fun likeable she brought all the emotion and then she has working with a lot of brands now nobody's remembering ah you were not and you know she has her own hair care line or hair, hair, hair care line yeah. that was a childhood dream she's happy that she finally like brought that to life and finally the queen herself cc hmm cc was calm guys i'm just thinking like wait, wait, wait what's happening like why are you calm she's just like um she's good the house has been nice she likes her team cc they've been like a family to her and she says that she doesn't care what anybody thinks about her because life is too short if you want to hate hate and no matter what you say it's your business you know because she's living her life and which makes a lot of sense man and sadly guys that was where it ended though like can you imagine like when they when the booker said you know oh we cut us tomorrow for the next 10 10 housemates introduction i was like what like oh god this is brother they want to milk like this is the i mean i did not watch last year's we you know no recap of stuff but this is the first big brother that i've ever heard that they are doing a recap for one whole month for two different seasons and then they recap again can i come can i come and do reunion for one hour i'm just like oh god oh my day so today we will watch the recap or the introduction of the remaining 10 housemen before you come and start the drama somehow somehow sha we watch this thing from 18 to 34 13 days uh, reunion uh, show i'm happy about it because let me be truthful i haven't been watching the double wahala because, because i watched double wahala i watched it i analyzed it i did not think that you want to talk about double wahala that i didn't talk about in my channel just go down and we see it there you know so i didn't bother watching it at all but this recap i'm here for it so i hear watching it and i'll be giving you all the juices everything that happened at the recap uh, on this channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any opinion anything if you want to just say something about anybody that i talked about or yo anything you really want to say about this uh reunion bb ninja abuka whoever yeah go to the comment section and please air your opinion out i love you so much for watching me thank you uh, Bye bye, love.